All right, guys, uh, the Cadillac XT5 part two video. Make sure you watch the first one. On the first one, we did change the thermostat right there. We got a brand new one. Same thing with the coolant sensor right there, brand new one. So I did a DIY taking out the intake manifold, the air filter tube right there. Check that part one video. It's on the description down below. So now on this video, we're almost done. We're past halfway. We're gonna replace the o-ring on that on this two pipe right here there's two o-rings right there we're gonna change that we're gonna put it in install it and then uh, continue move on put the intake manifold and everything start butting it up all the harness the wire connector and all that good stuff and this is so easy to lose so make sure keep an eye on it all right we're gonna tighten her up with a 10 mil socket right here All right, just give a quick good snug on those two bolts. And there we go. Those two lines with the coolant are installed. All right, I guess uh, clean this up, get the tape out. We'll install the intake manifold. So we'll install this intake manifold now. All right, give a little bit of a twist for each of these bolts so we'll catch on the thread and then we're just gonna bottom it out and then we're gonna torque this to spec after. So there's nine bolts on this. One right here and then eight right there. There's a pattern that you're gonna follow to torque this thing down. All right, so all the bolts here, just hand tight. Hand tight for a bit. All the nine bolts. And then here's our uh, guide right here for a uh, torque guide on this uh, intake manifold. There's a pattern. So to install, you start from the middle, crisscross, work your way out. And then the last one will be the ninth bolt right there. It's on the corner underneath the throw body bolt right there. Okay, so this one is torque spec on this one right here. It says that uh, 18 foot pounds right there on sequence. 18 foot pounds that would be same thing as a 25 newton meter for me i like the newton meter so start from the middle crisscross work your way out and then the last one is right here all right what we're gonna do is we're gonna bottom out all these bolts before we torque it so 13 mil on those first eight bolts right here uh make sure you're setting your Im impact gun is on one really light there's not much torque so let's start with the middle and then up and down crisscross All right, all eight is bottom out, and then the last one is right. And this one right here will be the 10 mil socket. All right, there you go. Eight input pounds on this torque wrench right here. We'll torque this thing down. <coughs> torque this thing down on sequence again. From the middle, work your way out. And then the last one will be right here. Same thing. 18 foot pounds and that one will be the 10 mil socket double check make sure you don't miss anything all right let's uh, connect all the connector hoses the cover right here the map sensor right there we'll do that and then uh, we'll uh, bleed the air out of this system I got the coolant already sitting there so I'm gonna make sure if you want you can pressurize this make sure that there's nothing coming out of the thermostat or uh, sensor right here before we start the engine but to me, I'm confident it's nice and tight, no leak. So let's uh, snap our finger, it will be a magic. All right, there we go, check it out. We got the intake cover bolted down, three bolts right there, map sensor, one bolt right there, connect all the connectors, two, and the hose for EBAP. And then there's one bolt down here for this uh, steel line, one bolt right there as well, two total, 10 mil. Secure it down, total position sensor connector right here is all locked in place. All right, so there's only three connectors, two and one, that's it, and then the hose. Now we're gonna put the tube for the intake, the flex tube right there, clamps, two clamps and one bolt, and push it down with that pins right there, and this should be ready to go.
All right, guys, everything is good. Nice and tight. Except one more bolt right here. I almost forgot. That's a 10 mil right there. This is the last bolt that you need to tighten up. Nice and snug. There we go. So double check all your work, everything. Double check. Feel the bolts and nuts that you installed. The connector. Okay. Connector down here on a throttle sensor. Two clamps right there. It's just had to be double check. It's two bolts right there. I showed you, show you guys that already. Two bolts that holds this uh, rail right here for the coolant. All right, and uh, I'm gonna have to make a second video of the coolant here. On the previous video, I had a couple minutes of showing how to drain the coolant coming from the rad right here. Check that video out. So now I'm gonna make a different video of how to fill this up and bleed the air out of this uh, 3.6 liter engine. I'm gonna show you how to bleed the air out. It's pretty easy. Here's a procedure that we're gonna follow. That would be this procedure right here. Cooling system drain and fill, static. So, so you know, there you go guys. Check it out, stay tuned. This repair is almost done. I'm gonna have to start the engine and uh, feel it. Make sure no leaks, no coolant leaks everywhere. Check underneath. And then we're gonna be making a new video of how to uh, bleed the air out of the cooling system on this uh, Cadillac XT5. All the way to XT6, same thing as a Blazer and a GMC Acadia. That's it, thumbs up, subscribe. Next video after this, we're going to go for a drive, test it out. That's it. See you guys again in the next one.